Now, if you want to make a file downloadable, let's say you have a song, for example. Let's say I want this uh, Windows Media uh, Audio here to be downloadable. I can grab it and pull it right out. Okay, excuse me, that's not how you do that. Actually, what you want to do is you want to create a link to this file. So right now, this file, to show you, let me delete this video, this file is right on, when someone looks for this file on, a web, on our web address, they're going to type this in, HTTP, www.howtomakeawebsite.tv forward slash it's in um, right now it would actually be new site but because uh, it says new site so this would really be new site or yeah new site forward slash actually we're gonna do it like this media forward slash and you want to type the name in HWE dot NWA. There you go. And um, that is what the link you're going to want. So let's just copy that. You can just right click copy. So let's delete. Now let's say we want this picture to link to the download of that song. Right click, link to, and put in this web address. You don't need to put the HTTP because it's already there. And just go here, delete that, and boom. Now this is going to link them to this file in this folder. So that's how you're going to link um, images and, and video and things that you want to download, other people to be able to download. So if you want to have stuff downloadable, songs, all that kind of good stuff, maybe you want to make a song site that you get all the songs and you put them on a page and do that kind of good stuff. So that's how you uh, link audio and video to a file.